What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Vezendipity, should say Life Orb Vezendipity and Evil Light Dust Cops on the Regulation E rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was created by Kanto Clark. Huge shout out to Kanto Clark. He is another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So if you guys want the Pokepace or just want to go check out his channel, link is down in the description below. But our first Pokemon that we're going to talk about is going to be Hisuian Arcanine. It is in our first slot with Intimidate and the Choice Band as its item. It's got Flare Blitz. It's got Rock side terror blast with the fairy terror type and extreme speed for first turn priority really do like this pokemon considering it has intimidate a top tier doubles ability and then choice ban makes it do some crazy damage in our second slot we got the one and only dust cops and dust cops was just released into this game from the teal mass dlc and it is a top tier trick room setter it's got frisk alongside with the evil light to make it super bulky and it's got nightshade trick room will-o-wisp and pain split in our third slot, we got the OP Pokemon. We got Rillaboom over here with Grassy Surge and the Leftovers as its item. It's got Wood Hammer alongside with Grassy Glide, Protect, and Sword Stance to set up that plus two boost. We got Ursaluna in our fourth slot, and this Pokemon pairs up perfectly with Dusk Ops because obviously, once you set up Trick Room, Ursaluna is super strong. It's got Mind's Eye alongside with the Assault Vest, Rockin' Blood Moon, Earth Power, Moon Blast, and Hyper Voice for its four moves. In our fifth slot, we got the brand new Pokemon, Pheasantipity, with Toxic Chain and the Life Orb as its item. It's got Air Cutter with the Flying Terror type to make it stab. Then we got Venoshock and Dazzle Gleam for two stab hitting moves and Protect for our final move. In our final slot, we got the Water Ogre Pond, and any Ogre Pond is super strong in Regulation E. It, this one's got Water Absorb with the Wellspring Mask, and it's rocking Ivy Cudgel, Wood Hammer, and Spiky Shield for its move set. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that regulation E rank ladder and look to showcase Evil Light Dust Cops and Life Orb Pheasantipity. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a Pelipper Rain squad with Basque Legion, Sneasler, Regilecki, Slow King to actually counter or even set up Trick Room. And last but not least, they are rocking out with Dragonite. How should I go into this one? Who should I play? I feel as the Water Absorb Wellspring Ogre Pond is going to be great, alongside with Robum, two Pokemon that I think are going to be very, very powerful. And honestly, I kind of just want to lead Dusk Cops, right? Dusk Cops is going to be a great Pokemon, and I can also go into Rillaboom, which Rillaboom would not be bad because I can always protect. I could grassy guide if need be. And on top of that, I can always swords dance as well, which is massive. They have no way of terrain control. So I like Rillaboom here. So I'm going to go Rillaboom. I'm also going to go Ogre Pond and I'm going to bring Ursaloon because I am going to be trying to set up the trick room. Cool. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in batch number one. But as much as I want to use Pheasantipity here, I feel as when we're going up against the Rain Squad, these Pokemon are a little bit better. Pheasantipity is absolutely amazing. I already showcased it on the casual ladder, but I haven't used it on the rank ladder yet. So this will be a first for me. This will be a first for Jeans. But I wonder who they're going to lead because still Rain is very, very powerful. And I'm super surprised they're not using like a new Rain Setter like Politoed. Because Regulation E just released Politoed. But hey, can't go wrong with Pelipper. You cannot go wrong with Pelipper. But Sneezer's gonna come out here alongside with Dust Cops. So we got this grassy terrain out here, and mm, do I I don't have fake out. I have sword dance. I kinda want to try to set up a sword dance. But we already found out what items they have. So Dragonite has the Assault Fest and Sneasel has the White Herb. So I'm thinking it just has that white herb for close combat. And here is a pretty simple play by me, right? If we just set up Trick Room, and on top of that, I think we should go for a Swords Dance. Do I Terra Swords Dance? Or do I just Protect? I think I just Protect. Now, you know what? We're just going to Swords Dance. If I die, I die. If you're going for a Dire Call enemy, that's fine. That's fine. So, Sneezer's going to fake me out. Should probably just Protect it. That's fine. It's all good. It's no problem. Roll Boom's here. It's fine. Ice Spinach to come out here. Taking out Terrain. That kind of hurts the soul that you take it out to rain, but I do survive. I do get a nice little survival, so I probably should have protected there. Definitely should have protected. But now I get to pop off this trick room. This trick room's going to be pretty big for us. Um, I could start throwing burns, which I think I'm going to do. I think we're just going to start throwing burns with Dust Cops, and we're just going to let the Roll Boom die out, right? I don't really care if Roll Boom dies out, so I kind of want it to. I kind of want the Roll Boom to die out at this point. So I'm just going to Willow with Dragonite and... I guess I'll go for a wood hammer and just try to hit Sneasler as hard as I can. It's really going to do nothing, but he's just going to e-speed me, which is it's totally fine. 
that's totally fine. So again, like I said, I wanted Willaboom to die out. We have Trick Room up. We want to get out some other Pokemon. So will wisp is going to land. That is massive. If I would have missed that, that kind of would hurt. And if I had to guess, Sneasel is probably going for like a Dire Claw or something. Trying to get off some damage. Trying to get a status condition on me. Yep, there's Dire Claw. My boy soaks all day. Do not give me a status condition. Thank you. Thank you. So we soak really, really well. I could burn the Sneasel, which might be the play here. It might be the play, but I definitely want to go into Blood Moon and Ursulina. We definitely want to rock into Ursulina here. We know that none of these Pokemon are sashed either, which is great. We can really get ripping. So you do have close combat, so probably Ghost Terra type is going to be your play. So I'm going to Ghost Terra. Oh no, I do not want to Terra you. I'm just going to go for a Nightshade to start knocking down damage on you. And I'm going to Ghost Terra you and go into an Earth Power. And just try to take out Sneasel. Or I could Ghost Terror and then just Hyper Voice. Which honestly wouldn't be bad. I actually like that a little bit better. I like that a little bit better. Because I was going to say, just in case the Withdrawal comes out there. And we can double down and get some damage off. So he's going to end up bringing out Pelipper. So great call for me to just stick with the Hyper Voice. And get after it that way. And it's Drizzle Rain is going to get cooking. So I'm going to Terrasalize anyway. I mean, I was more so for the Sneasler hit me with a Fighting type move. But I still really like this Terror type considering um what's that thing dragonite has e speed and it has ice spinner so we can get rid of some weaknesses of ours so i get that ursulina on the ghost terra we have two ghost type pokemon which ghost is just an amazing typing in this game nice shade's gonna fly it's going to deal some damage on the dragonite and hyper voice come across and deal some more damage and that's actually perfect that we did half damage to pelipper it ends up going for an eq it's just a little weird. We're burned. We're soaking up all day. It's no problem. It's no problem. It's no problem. So from here, I could actually hard swap at this point, but I can, I like Duskops within Shirkrim. It's very powerful within Shirkrim. It's really kicking it. It really is. So I'm just going to go for a... I'm just going to go for a Nightshade here. And I'm going to double down the Pelipper. Just in case Hyper Voice leaves our opponent on one HP, that would really suck. And he's just going to end up Wide Guard. Oh, you smart little cookie. Wide Guard with the Pelipper. Wide guard with the Pelipper. Nice shade's gonna fly. And it's gonna do some nice damage, so. That's fine. That's fine. Hyper Voice is gonna get blocked. It gets blocked. So we have one more turn left in Trick Room. And Dragonite is probably gonna rip another EQ. No shot it does, right? I don't even know. It's not even dealing that much damage. It's gonna go for an Outrage. Let's see how much damage it's gonna do. Rebel Soak pretty well. Actually doing a decent amount of damage there. And Burn is going to chunk up. So burn does its damage. Um, from here, it's pretty simple to just go into a nightshade into one of them, and then maybe just hard swap it. Do I hard swap here into ogre pond? That could be good, but now I feel as we should just you know pick up the easy double KO, just go moon blast, and go in with nightshade. Yeah, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Trick Room is going to be done after this, but I'm going to probably try to set up another one with the Pokemon that they have. Sneasler with Fake Out actually can't be faking me out with two Ghost Steps on the field. And probably another Pokemon who's rather fast. So I think I would want to set up another Trick Room. I got the Ogre Pond in the back end. I like the Pokemon that we have. I wish I could protect Ursulina, but I'm just going to throw a nice, lovely... What is it even called? Hyper Voice across the board. The Sneasler could obviously Tire type but... Just, yeah. Okay. The Sneasler and Bashkill Legion. So yeah, very fast Pokemon, very scary Pokemon. Um, I got Evo Light, you know, all that good stuff. And he probably doubles down into me, right? I mean, obviously I want to go for Trick Room. And on top of that, I'm just gonna go for a Blood Moon here. Oh, I got Mind's Eye, actually. I can hit. I can hit with the little moves. So you know what? I'm just gonna go with Hyper Voice here. So Dire Call is gonna fly out here. We're able to soak that no problem. And what's Bashkill Legion go for? Oh, you get a poison. Bash Legion, are you going to try to KO my Dusclops? I would think so, right? Last Respects. No, you're going to go after Ursulina, which we love. We don't mind that. We don't mind that one bit because we set up the Trick Room yet again. Massive, massive. I don't know why they allowed me to actually set up the Trick Room. Kind of dumb. It is kind of dumb. But now I got a beautiful Ogre Pond in the back end with Water Absorb and in the rain. We like that a lot. And we can just start attacking. So I got poison, which kind of sucks, right? Those kind of hurts a little bit. And I could pain split, just get back some HP. And I might just do that. That might be my play. I got Ivy Cudgel here, which should do a nice chunk of damage. Um, hmm. 
Do I just want to double down a Sneasel here? Might be my best bet. Because I don't think Bashkill Legion KO me. I do not think Bashkill Legion KO going to Ogre Pond here. So I'm going to Nightshade you. And you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to double down. I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel here. So out comes a Terror type. Are we going to see it from Bashkill Legion? I'm kind of hoping it's Bashkill Legion. And it is. And what typing are you going into? You're going to go into straight water. So he's looking to do some big time damage. Probably trying to KO my Dust Cops. But at that point, you can't hit me with water moves. I have water absorbed, and I can just wood hammer you probably next turn. So Aqua Jet's gonna come, come out here. You should be able to eat up this Aqua Jet. I'm gonna be very upset if he doesn't. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, you got that, Dust Cops. You got that all day. Dust Cops is so bulky. This is why I love him. This is why I want to use him today. I saw him, I was just like, dude, I gotta use him. So we get off some nice damage with that lovely Nightshade, and Ivy Cudgel's gonna come through here and finish off the Sneasler. But if you guys did not know, Nightshade does the same amount of damage to every single Pokemon. It's just depending on Dustclop's level. So when it's level 50, it does the same amount of HP damage to every single Pokemon. That's why I like Nightshade so much. It's just a solid move. Gets you some consistent damage, especially with Dustclop's in the Trick Room. But from here, I'm just going to throw out another Nightshade. And on top of that, Woodhammer away, right? Game, set, match. No problem. No problem. He's just going to protect. He's going to read out what I'm doing. And I'll probably actually try to Pain Split here. That'll probably be my... A better move for me would probably be just a pain split because pain split evens out the hp on both sides so i would actually get back a ton of hp but cool we played this one pretty perfectly our opponent really threw the match by oh actually protecting poison comes out here but i don't i don't see this in ko me last respects you're not ko me right i don't believe you're ko me <laughs> i'd be so upset i'd be so upset but I think our opponent really threw the match by not taking out my Dust Clops and uh, allowing us to set up another Trick Room. But I outspeed in the Trick Room. I go for a nice lovely Wood Hammer, and that's game set match, no problem. 1 0 to get things started. Let's hop into our second match and try to use Fezzendipity in that one. Hot start to today's video, starting off 1 0. But we're in our second match, and I would love to use Fezzendipity here. We're going up against a Trick Roomish team, right? They got Frigorap. They got uh, Sinisha alongside with Annihilate and Blood Moon Ursaluna, just like us. And then they're also rocking out with Mousehold to pair up with that Annihilate and Gyarados, who's probably more of a support Gyarados than anything. So who should I lead here? Do I even go into Dust Cops? I mean, if they pop Trick Room, they pop Trick Room. It's not that big of a deal. But I think I'm going to lead Fezzendipity here. 119 speed. Its speed's not that bad. Love its typing. Love its bulkiness. Love everything about it. So I am going to go into Fezzendipity here. Um, who sh should I lead with it? I could go in with Robin, which is actually not that bad, especially if they're going to set up Trick Room. I can always just go into a, a Sword Stance here, which wouldn't be bad. So you know what? I am going to go Rillaboom. Lovely little Rillaboom. So I'll go Rillaboom. I am going to bring Ursula in, it in the back end. And then last but not least, do I bring in you just for E Speeds? E Speed could be clutch, but Ogre Pond, pretty solid, right? Pretty goaded. It's either Ogre Pond or Arcanine. Probably going to go in with Ogre Pond. The reason I would rather go in with Ogre Pond is because if I have Intimidate Arcanine and they're bringing in Defiant with Annihilate, it's just a problem. It's just a problem. Plus, again, Ogre Pond's top tier. It's got Follow Me. It's got some heavy hitting moves. We love everything about Ogre Pond. We love everything about it. So we'll see who they end up leading. We got the Pheasantipity cooking here as a lead. And they're going to go into Mousehold Annihilate. So Mousehold Annihilate come out here. Um, I don't mind that too much. I do not mind that too much. I think I'm just going to set up a Swords Dance, right? Do I set up Swords Dance? I could set up Swords Dance. I could set up Swords Dance. I could go also go into an Air Cutter, which might be my play here. Just Terrasilize and Air Cutter up. Has heightened chance of critical hits. He could go for Follow Me. So you know what? I am going to do this. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance here. So we'll Terrasilize the bird right off the rip. Fezzendipity right off the rip. Double hitting move as well. Has a nice little chance at Toxic Chaining. And just getting after it. So we get the bird all flying out. Getting after it. We love it. That's going to be so cool. And they're going to end up Terrasilize and Annihilate. That sucks, man. Are you going to Terrasilize and Annihilate? Or are you going to Terrasilize Mouse? Nope, it's Annihilate. Fire typing? Steel typing. Wow, it's just so perfect. It's just too perfect. Why you got to have the most perfect terror types? Kind of annoying me. He ends up protecting the Mouse, which I don't mind at all. And now are you going for a bulk up? Maybe, potentially. I don't know. Can we get a toxic chain on this thing? Bear cutter's gonna come out here. Probably do like negative five damage. 
and we'll go from there. Yeah, negative three to be exact. And I actually lose more HP for my life over than anything. He ends up going for a bulk up, but Jeans is here. I'm matching that energy with a nice lovely Sword Dance here. So Sword Dance is going to come out here. We got the terrain. We got a lot of things going on to get us boosted. And from here, do I just hard swap Fezidipity? Maybe just save it? Maybe, right? Maybe, probably. I mean, I have a nice lovely special attacker, but we kind of need it for trickling purposes. So I could go into you. I think I am going to go into Ogre Pond here. And probably just Grass Guy and try to take out you. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I'm going to hard soft as a dip. I'll save it for later. I'll save it for later. That Annihilate just a problem, man. Oh, man. It's a problem. I wish I would have kept my Terror type. Grass Guy's going to come out here, do some big time damage on the mouse hold. And oh, it's getting real ugly. It's getting real ugly. Like, dude, I hate going up against Mouse Hold now. It is just so strong. And it seems like every time I play it, it's a different terror type that just perfectly counters everything I have. But he's gonna end up going for Rage of Seer, and this is probably KO me, right? Like, how are you supposed to counter that? You're not. You're just not allowed to. You were just simply not allowed to. So I think we're just gonna go back into Fesendipity here. And the reason being, we outspeed and we can just air cutter to try to KO the mouse hold. And then start attacking the, uh, the Annihilate. Yeah, that's my best bet. So I'm just going to go for an IV Cudgel here. And I'm just going to go for an air cutter. Just so I can finish off that. But dude, that's just like the most perfect terror type. The most perfect. What a lovely terror type. He ends up hard swapping into Gyarados. That's fine. I mean, a little bit intimidating to come after me. I'm a physical attacker. It kind of, dude, it's just like... They're so perfect right now. And he ends up protecting an Annihilate. So, okay. So, he gets a protect off on Annihilate. Pheasant Dippity's here. And I don't, I just don't know how we're going to take out Annihilate. Annihilate, again, it's just a problem. I mean, only way I can maybe think of is, like, maybe using Following Me with Ogre Pond. And then KOing it with Ursa Luna. This thing's bulked on defense slot, too. Which kind of sucks. We need a poison on Gyarados. We don't. We don't, we don't get these poisons. So from here, I'm going to spiky shield, and I'm just going to keep attacking. You know what? I'll probably just go for a venice shock. I'm just going to just just try to tackle this left side, because we know we're not KO and Annihilate right now. We, we know we're not doing that. I'm going to spiky shield here. I think my only way of winning is Ursa Luna. He's going to end up going for a taunt. Let me block it with the spiky shield. Cool. So I'm able to do that, and I'm able to venice shock here. Can I get a poison? There we go. Beautiful. So we finally get a poison with Toxic Chain. We like that a lot. And from here, he's probably just KOing Fezidipity with a Rage Fist, right? Yeah. Fezidipity's gone. Move, that move is, like, extremely overpowered. Extremely overpowered. It's absurd. It's absurd. So that ends up happening, and I think from here, the only way we can win this match is, is again, follow me and just have an Ursaluna KO. We have Assault Vest. I mean... We don't have Terror type though. Terror would have been perfect here, right? Been a lovely Terror type. But from here, obviously, Follow Me's gonna come out here. We gotta sacrifice our Ogre Pond, and we gotta go after you. And of course, he ends up protecting me. My heart, my soul, really hurting. Maybe you go for a Waterfall? Maybe you end up going for a Waterfall, which we would like, because I get Water Absorb on that. And yeah, you do. Cool. So now we're sitting back here. He probably knows we're just going for following me. And would he hard swap if I'm going for Earth Power? I mean, Poison's chunking up some damage. If he hard swaps in a mouse hold, that's fine by me. So we KO mouse hold. And who else do you have, though? Maybe Sinistra? Or Ursaluna? Probably Ursaluna, I would think. You know, I'm still just going to go for the follow me here. I think it's a smart play. And I'm just going to go for... The Earth Power. I don't want to. I don't want to over overthink this one, right? We're gonna hope he stays in here, and we're gonna hope that Earth Power connects and KOs. I mean, he's so bulky; it's kind of hard to say it's gonna KO. It ends up withdrawing Gyarados, so Gyarados gets to withdraw here. And he got cooking now. You gonna go back in the mouse hold? It looks like. Yeah, you go back in the mouse hold. Follow me comes out here. You're definitely Rage Fisting to KO me. 
No, Drain Punch. And we actually survived Drain Punch. That's perfect. It's actually massive. That's actually massive that we ate that up. So that ends up happening. I think from here, we just... Oh, man. What do I do here? Do I just Ivy Cudgel you? So what's your speed, Ogre Pond? I'm trying to stay in this. Speed's 130, so you should be faster than Annihilate. But the thing is, I don't think you're KO in Annihilate. That's that's more of the problem. That's more of the problem, right? Hmm. That's what I want to do here. I think you protect. I really do think you protect. I'm just going to follow me just in case. And you know what? We're just going to go for Hyper Voice. I think you are going to protect and Annihilate. And you end up going for Follow Me, so that's fine. Hyper Voice works out here. I end up going for Follow Me as well. He's probably just Dream Punch me. Yeah, that's pretty much game. That's pretty much game. That that that, that combo just really ripped into me. I should have Spiky Shield it. But actually, if I if I didn't follow me, then my Ursaluna dies out here. Right? Yeah, Ursaluna would have died. At least we don't get swept. We're going to be able to KO Mousehold here. But yeah, once, once I kind of got that Annihilate out there, it was, it was pretty much game set match. Because from here, he's just going to Drain Punch me, pretty much KO me in one shot. If not, it's just going to do a massive amount of damage. And then they're probably bringing out Gyarados here as well, so they can just double down into me with uh, not very effective moves. Or not, I meant super effective moves. So yeah, rough second match for us. Rough second match for us. We got to hop into this third match. And there's Sinistra with Hospitality, of course. So <laughs> dude, this thing is just killing it. And I live so strong. I'm just going to run this one. We're going to go hop into a third and final battle. Look for that winning record. Final match on its way. And we're going up against a Galarian Weezing and Roaring Moon team. They also rocking out with Water Spring Ogre Pond, just like us. And then Fluttermane, Landers, and Volcarona. Who should I lead? How should I go into this one? And I think Festidipity is a solid lead all around. So I'm going to end up leading the Festidipity. And I think I'm going to also lead the Real Boom, right? Or I can lead Arcanine. I definitely want to bring an Arcanine and Real Boom. But I don't know who I should lead. Hmm, probably the Robin. I like the Robin. Maybe not the Robin. Hmm. I think we'll bring. I think we'll lead the Ogre Pond. Yeah, I'm cool with Ogre Pond. Actually, no. I want to lead Robin. I take it back. We're going Robin for the lead, and then we'll bring Arcanine and Ogre Pond in the back end. I'm cool with that. So, yeah, I definitely want to showcase Glaring Weezing rather soon, too. I have a team lined up ready for you guys. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Want to use this team today. But maybe we'll showcase it tomorrow. Such a cool Pokemon. It's got Neutralizing Gas, which is an amazing ability. It actually cancels out all abilities on the floor. So, pairing it up with, like, Slacking and other Pokemon make it really, really powerful. But we'll see. We'll see who they want to lead here. I'm curious to see if they'll even bring in the Weezing. Such a cool like uh, design too. It's just chimney stacks. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's just so funny. Kind of looks like Doug Dimmodome from uh, Fairly Odd Parents. It's just so funny. But who are they gonna lead here? Actually, I don't think they picked their t team in time. So they might lead. If they didn't pick their team in time, then Weezing and Roaring Moon would come out here. And if that's the case, I don't want Weezing to come out here because I have a good ability with Grass Grass Terrain coming out here right off the rip. And I need my Grass Terrain. I need it. And then I will also not have Toxic Chain too, which kind of sucks. Let's see. What they got? Weezing and the Moon. So they didn't pick their team, so we shouldn't know who they have in the back end, right? Because if you do not pick your team in time, you actually get the first four Pokemon in your party. So these were the first two, so that's why I said that's who he's probably leading. And from here, they probably have Ogre Punt and Flutterman. We can, we can assume that, right? We can assume that they have... Ogre Pond and Flutter Me. Okay. So from here, I think I'm just gonna Dazzle Gleam. I like our typing we have, right? I can Gleam, it'll be four times super effective in that slot. And then from here, I think I'll just. I think I'll just protect Robo Or you know what? I might just hard swap him here. The Arcanine, yeah, we got Intimidate. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Oh, we can't intimidate. I, I forgot about neutralizing gas, man. I guess I'm just protecting. Okay, so protect comes out here. What are you doing, Weezing? What you got cooking, Weezing? I forgot. Intimidate does not come out here until we get rid of the Weezing. 
They do have Choice Band, which is lovely. And I think from here, we just Choice to a Rock Slide because a lot of Roaring Moons have Terra. Uh, that's a great swap for us. But a lot of Roaring Moons have Terra flying, so I can just go into Dazzle Gleam to cover the Dragon and Dark type here. And from here, I can just Choice in the Rock Slide, which I like the best. This little stab move, get cooking here. Hits on both the Pokemon, has a chance of flinching. We got Choice Band. We love it. We love it. So let's see what they end up doing. Weezing's just he's such a good Pokemon. Galarian Weezing. Regular Weezing has that ability too. I believe it does, right? I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. It ends up withdrawing the Roaring Moon, which is fine by me. And like I said, if I had to guess, it's Ogre Pond or Fluttermane. Is that correct? If it's one of them, I'm going to assume the last one. Yeah, so Fluttermane's going to be their last Pokemon here. It ends up protecting the Weezing. And that's fine. Rock Slide's going to do... Eh. How much damage is Rock Slide going to do? We got Gleam cooking here. Um, I'm going to go for an Air Cutter next turn. And Gleam's actually doing a decent amount of damage, which we, which we like. Now Rock Slide comes out here. So how much damage are you doing, Rock Slide? So now might be the turn to actually go back into... Ooh, that's some good damage. How, fa how fast are you guys? So I was going to say, I could go back into Robin here. But looking at her speed, 111, Ogre Pond's probably faster. Because that's how fast my Ogre Pond is with no speed. EV. So yeah, Ogre Pond's definitely fastest on the field. I think from here, we just go into an Air Cutter. We hard swap in the Robin. I like that. So we'll still have Arcanine Intimidate for the back end. I kind of want to save my Terror type for Fluttermane because looking at Fluttermane, we don't really have too many counters to it. I mean, Rillaboom can get some work done onto it, especially with the Grassy Terrain, but I have to have to save my Terra for a good time, especially probably maybe with Arcanine. I can always tear it in a Fairy and then go into like a big time Fire Blitz KO at the end. But we'll see. We end up going back in Rillaboom just in case the Ivy Cudgel wants to drop into me or Hornets like that. That works perfectly. We're going to be able to soak really well. So it gets back a little bit of HP. If this air cutter lands, it's going to take out the Ogre Pond, which it does, and it's going to do a little bit of damage onto Weezing. So their Ogre Pond is gone. Get it on out of here. Get it on out my face. And they're going to Sludge Bomb my Pheasant Dippity, which actually did a decent amount of damage. A decent amount of damage with the Sludge Bomb. So I get some nice lovely leftovers HP. I really want to KO this dang Larian Weezing. It's kind of annoying me, and I might have to hard swap my roll boom yet again, really depending on who they bring in. If they go back in the Roy Moon, I'm going to hard swap back into Arcanine. And we'll go from there, but if they bring out the Flutter Moon, we're just going to start targeting it down. Let's see, he cooking with here. He cooking with. We already know you got Flutter Moon. Is this Flutter Moon? Oh no, it's Volcarona. Okay, so never mind. They did not pick, or they did pick their uh, team in, in time. And Air Cutter is going to be my play, and I'm just going to hard swap back into Arcanine. <laughs> it's just simple. It's just a simple Arcanine swap play. We'll keep a Robum. We will keep the Robum. Robum is really not good up against any of the Pokemon that they have. It's going to be not very effective, but still, just having Robum on board is just nice. And hard swapping at a good time is good. So we'll see what they want to do here. I think Fezzendipity should be able to eat up whatever shots from Volcarona. Because Volcarona might outspeed it. So I'm thinking we should get off at least one more turn with Fezzendipity, if not two turns. And then go back into Arcanine here. Because Arcanine's great. Love the little Pokemon. And especially if they're going for a fire move, it's just going to be able to soak the Volcarona shot. If I go back into Arcanine, a Terra is finally out and about. So Volcarona's probably going to Terra. It's definitely not the Weezing, right? Yeah, it's Volcarona. Into what type you got? Dragon. He's Dragon typing. Okay, I got Dazzling Green for that. And Weezing's just going to protect. So Weezing's like to just protect and kind of stay on the field as long as they can. So abilities don't do anything. And he's going to end up Quiver Dance, which is rather scary. A little bit of Quiver Dance action. And Air Cutter is going to miss. Or well, not miss. Get blocked. It's going to land though. We'll do about five. The Festivity loses some HP to Life Orb. And this whole Corona getting low. Scaring me a little bit, right? <laughs> it's scaring me a little bit. And I'm just gonna go for Daz and Gleam. And on top of that, do a choice in the rock side. Actually, now it's gonna be time to Terrasalize. And just Terror Blast, right? Fairy's a perfect Terror type. We're Terrasalize and we getting after it. I want this Volcarona gone. It's Quiver Dance up. I'm hoping it doesn't protect. And we're just gonna try to rip, rip it through. 
The nice big time Terra, we they just used Terra too, so they got War Moon in the back end, we know that. The Fairy Terra is nice, and he ends up protecting! Come on, man! Well, here's Soul. At least Daz and Gleam will head up the Weezing, and we're hoping the Weezing can just KO the Pheasantipity at this point. Right? I kind of just want Pheasantipity dead. Take some Life Orb HP, and I don't even think he can KO Pheasantipity right now. Sludge Bomb coming in. And yeah, Festivity eats. We love it. We love it. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the Dazzle Gleam. I'm gonna go into a Terra Blast here. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Or I could just go for a Beneshock. And you know what? I'm gonna do that. But I think Terra Blast should KO Volcarona all day. Actually, no, I should Dazzle Gleam. It's plus one on special defense. Idiot. I'm stupid. Come on, Jeans. Should have thought your turns a little bit more. That's fine. Maybe we get a crit. Maybe we do some big time damage. And actually, this could be physical attacking. I forgot, Terra Blast is either physical or special attacking. So cool, never mind. Special defense boost, we don't care about you. We don't care about you at all. So opponent's really thinking of what to do. They can't swap Volcarona, they can't protect Volcarona. So if they swap Volcarona, it goes into War Moon and we just KO that. And you just protect it, so going for a double protect will be gutsy play. He ends up just rocking a heat wave to take out, oh wow, the damage output. Doing a lot of damage to my Arcanine. And Terra Blast gonna get cooking. So Terra Blast comes out here. Can this this should KO, right? You getting rid of this thing? Beautiful. Beautiful Arcanine. We get a crit. Awesome. We'll take it. <laughs> um, okay, so Warren Moon comes out here as the last Pokemon. I don't think I should really worry about the Weezing. And he's gonna end up Willow Whispering me. So would this change Terra Blast into special attacking if I'm burned? Because what I'm thinking of doing is just going into like a follow me here. Because you're going to do nothing, Real Boom. Let's be honest. I think I'm just going into a follow me here. And then Terra Blast into Roaring Moon. Right? Makes the most sense. Yeah, I'm choosing to uh, Terra Blast too. We seeing a little bit of a problem though. With my back end Pokemon, it's just not look good. But this is a solid battle all around. We're hoping War Moon's not gonna protect. Watch, it's just gonna protect here. Every time I don't want Pokemon to protect, they protect. So we hit the follow me button. And War Moon's gonna go for an Acrobat. So he was attacking me regardless, and we're able to soak that, which is massive. Terror Blast coming out of here, and I wanna see how much damage it's gonna do. I mean it's four times super effective. I think it KOs, right? Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. So that pretty much just solidifies the match, right? Actually, I don't know, to be honest. Because Weezing probably going for Sludge Bomb. Yeah, that's going to KO me. And now I'm out here with Arcanine, who's choice into a fairy move. And Rillaboom, who can't hit hard at all. I think I Swords Dance here. Yeah, I'm going to Swords Dance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to Swords Dance with Rillaboom. I'm Swords Dancing with Rillaboom. It's so funny, we just played this whole battle without abilities. So I'll Sword Dance to Rillaboom, and they just cancel battle. They don't even fight it. Cool, we'll take it. 2-1 winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Dust Cops and Pheasantipity on the rank ladder. We go 2-1 and grab ourselves a winning record, and we'll just kind of forget about that second match. Annihilate ripped this up in second match, but match number one and match number three were played beautifully by us and came down to the wire both times. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.